Oh, no. All right. Officially, uh, welcome for first meeting. Uh, I hope that uh, we were a couple minutes late, but that's okay. Uh, so the main point of this first meeting that we will go through the activities, what we're going to do, do through um, the next couple of months, <laughs> and that you have clear idea or students have clear idea what are what do we need from them and what are the activities what they need to do. Uh, first, we thought we will start on uh, saying hello. So, in uh, from Finland, my name is Ona, and uh, I'm going to be responsible of the <coughs> lessons on the 15th of January. With me, I have a couple of my colleagues as well. Hello, uh, I'm still here also, I'm, uh, and uh, I'm responsible of a uh, um, uh, pop-up restaurant event of our side. Yes. Yes, and um, actually we are both are for the cooks uh, teachers at the same time. Hello, my name is Anna. I'm teacher here with Janne. Hello, my name is Merja Leiva, and I teach a bakery student. And... Sorry? You are part of the competition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I would like to make sure that you all, you were able to hear also Maria and uh, Aria. Yes, awesome. So at the moment we only have a couple of our students and here we had some uh, difficulties. But the, our first student is uh, our Baker student. Is it like this? Uh, hi. Uh, hi, I'm Lea. <laughs> and, um, are we unable to hear us still? Uh, I'm a great student and, uh, uh, and I'm studying so at the so 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 Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and the next one we have the cook uh -huh. student. Hello, my name is Eleonora Voinova and I am first year cook student from Omnia. Vocational college. Awesome. And from this part, I will give it to Vamia. Vamia? Okay, so do you hear us? Ona. Ulga. Everybody, Sami. Yes, we are here, but is anybody hearing us, us except Ona? So, what is with us? Okay. Sigrid? Yes. Ona, do you hear us? Yes. Put the... I don't know if you are not to hear uh, Herman and Sami. Yeah. Okay, now we are able to hear. You guys, it's your turn. Okay, yes, so everybody hears us now. Yes, Auto yes and we are going to Spain. Uh, Spain, no, not at the moment. Looks like they are not here. Okay, so my name is Hermanni and I'm a teacher here in Vamia. And we are uh, mainly in charge out of this competition part very much in March. Yes, so I'm Sami. Hermani just talked about, and uh, here is our student. The rest of the students have a video um, for, for themselves because they are working and can't be here. But you're yeah. George. Uh, hello, hi everyone, guys. I'm George. I'm a first year student here in Bamia. Cook, cook student. Nice meeting you. And then I will put on a few videos that we taped or we uh, filmed them this morning. Nice to see you guys and uh, nice to see you guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ei, se meni ylemmäs. with administrative issues on this project. Geo, my colleague, who will be uh, doing most of the um, actual work with the competition, cannot be here because he is in, a, in another meeting in Tallinn. Uh, but I have uh, our student, Michael, here, who is introducing himself. Yes, hello. So, as was said, I'm Michael. I'm a second-year chef student, and I'm really looking forward to uh, the, uh, the web seminars and working together with all of you. Yeah. We so far only have Michael confirmed uh, that he will be other candidates, but unfortunately they did not come here today. So we will continue to uh, to get the students more engaged. All right. So, Maris. <laughs> Hi all. How are you? Um, here in um, Tralee, um, TJ was supposed to be here today, but unfortunately he can't make his copies in another meeting, so I said I'd step in. Um, so you'll probably see me in the project stepping in and stepping out, supporting TJ in this. I hope you're all well. Here is my the students um, that will be participating in the whole project, and I let you, um, I let them introduce themselves to you. So we'll start at the back here. Um, my name is Megan, and I'm a second year student in IT Tree. Um, my name is Kerry, and I'm also a second year student here in IT Tree. Um, my name is Shannon, and I'm also a second year student in IT Tree. Hi, my name is Jeremiah, I'm a second year student also. Hi, I'm Miss Camus, a second year student. Hi, my name is Eva, I'm also a second year student in IT Tree. So, I hope everyone could hear us, and it's all set up, and we are ready to go to the lesson of the introduction. All right. Thank you for your all, and uh, like I said earlier, Wamiya will be responsible for this, so go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to put them... Slide, so we have the PowerPoint presentation, and then I think when we uh, reach to the open batches and so on, so then Ona can start from there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So uh, this um, this this is a this is a presentation. Then information what's what's going to happen on mainly on January, February, and March uh, relating to this cooking competition module. Uh, so in short, so the successful completion of this module means that all 
teams are creating a blog, all competitors are creating a video resume, all teams have an Instagram account, and they all teams will design a sustainable menu. Of course, they will take a part into the competition, which is like the actual competition day. Uh, all competitors can apply for these open patches. And as a part of this, everybody automatically demonstrate their international competencies. And we have these five online lessons, two in January and one in February and two also again in March. And every time it starts 11 o'clock Central European time, meaning 10 o'clock in Ireland and 12 o'clock in Estonia and in Finland. And I assume that it's 11 o'clock in Spain. So we have this. Um, uh, we have these five modules, and we take a certain parts out of the personal branding and marketing. We have certain parts in local food, creating menus. Certain parts out of sustainable gastronomy and traditional and professional cooking skills with modern technologies, and then a plant-based diet. And then we have these actual competition days. So this um, on March, one day we compete, second day is the feedback and evaluation day. And all of these seven days are done online. It relates a lot of uh, practicing, homework, creating, planning, uh, also between the lessons to be able to be ready when the actual competition day is. So that uh, events one to five, are taking us towards the actual competition day and that's that's like deep day on this 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 competition model okay and then in short what the personal branding and marketing uh which part of that course is taken into this competition model so it's this uh we have a, a low a block uh, we create a video resume, professional quality. Uh, we take, of course, we take a part in the competition of the event, which is going to be on March. And uh, like today, we are demonstrating our uh, language skills, for example, and other international competencies. It's about teamwork, intercultural communication. Uh, we have the Instagram account. We use Facebook. And then like today, we have live stream meetings and events. And the competition is also going to be streamed. And then our local food creating menus module. So out of that, it's going to be about the locality in food making. We are going to contact and cooperate with the local producers. We show our knowledge of raw materials and skills. We create a unique and innovative dining experience. Uh, and the center of that will be, of course, our menu. And how, how it's put on the plate. <clears throat> and the story behind, behind the food and the menu. And then we take the sustainable gastronomy also in into this competition and, uh, and the parts will be how we create healthy food choices, how we do those, what's included in that. Uh, it's about the climate change, how to eat environmentally friendly, that's taken under consideration. And then we have the carbon footprint, water footprint, and, and so on. Things that relate to sustainability and cooking. And then the traditional and professional cooking skills. So knife skills, group working skills, mise en place.
piti laittaa sulle, heiluttaa kättä ja sanoa sulle yksi juttu, mutta mä vahingoskaan... Ei näe mitään. Me nähdään vaan tää powerpointti. Niin, katso. Okei. Okay. So you didn't see that I was out? En. Et jos no. on asia, niin sun pitää sanoa. Okei, okei. So, so, so sorry, it was my completely my mistake. Yeah. I actually wanted to say, um, if you go through the, all the models, and I will say at the last. So it's okay. 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 Yes, yes. Okay. And the plant-based diet also is included. So the parts that will be in competition is uh, again healthy food choices and how to appreciate nature as a part of food making and as a source for the raw materials. You have gone, came or gone quite long out of that. And here you can take these local products and local producers like mainly on on this part. Nice. And then the food trends. Also, because this plant-based things are, are growing at the moment. Okay, and now we have gone. And all these different parts have different um, persons or participants in charge. For example, on Omnia is in charge of the personal branding. Vamia is in charge of creating menus, local food, sustainability, Ireland, traditional professional cooking skills, okay. Spain, and plant-based diet is for Estonia. Okay, now I'm sort of sort of quitting before you recording you. Uh, the one what I wanted to tell you is that uh, let all the students understand that all the parts what we are creating. So we start that uh, personal branding, and the next one is the menu planning, and you need to think about local food. So it's always step by step, more closer for the cooking competition. So they all are in bind. So there are activities what you need to do in the first steps, and then the last one you will see the results. So basically, in the second part, when they give you instructions what they do, again, like sustainability has to shown in the menu what you're planning. So it's step by step that you create that uh, at the end result. And then if you have any question between when we are talking, please do not quit like I did. Uh, wave the hand or make the question so we know how to reply. Now, Hermani, you can continue. So then, uh, but like Anna told that we are going to build, we go step by step, so we build like a portfolio. And then uh, about the social media presence, what, that, what does that mean? So like it's been there before, so it's going to be this block for every team where they follow their path to watch the competition and during the competition. It's going to be the video resumes done by everybody. Uh, Instagram, account, Instagram account, which is linked to the blog. We have the online lessons, the five which are coming. And then the actual competition day and the evaluation day streaming. So, like today is almost like first first step in the social media presence. At least we know now that all the system works and they work fine. Uh, and then the material. Also, when we have this three course menu for the competition. So this is our. Um, that we work with step by step. So we have create uh, we have three course menu. So and we are going to create a portion cards for the kitchen, and that has the ingredients. And we appreciate the locality. 
and the story behind the ingredients, behind the food, behind the menu, behind the whole thing. And what do we must use? The ingredients. We use meat, we use seafood, we use berries or fruits. And all the teams can choose how. The meat is white. It could be chicken, it could be game, it could be anything, as long as it's meat. Not under the sea, over the sea, on the land. And then we have seafood under the sea. It could be fish, it could be whatever, as long as it's living in the sea. And then the berries and fruits. Uh, okay, ingredients. Then we have, of course, the recipes. We have the prices, the calculations. That's going to take under consideration consideration also if we create a menu that we are going to sell it has to have make some profit lay out the picture of how the dish is going to look and then the carbon footprint for example out of our menu our portions and for that's going to be um, tell how it's going to be done when we have the sustainable gastronomy so that's the step by step thing for example and then special diets, how, how our menu fits for the persons who follow gluten-free diet, lactose-free diet, or so on. Do we have to modify the portions somehow? Then menu bar for the guests, so that we are going to sell it, uh, that we are going to give for the customer. So how it's going to look, the layout, style, colors. For example, it should be easy to read. But it should be also part of story and the experience because we have this locality which is the main team the red line so somehow our menu card should relate and express also be a part of this story and of course the gastronomic names the gastronomic order in our menu card and again story behind the food so it should be implemented into menu card, which is presenting these different dishes. Start their main course dessert. Main, made out of meat, seafood, and berries or fruits. <laughs> then we have uh, the actual competition day. So we have two, two kind of judges or judge. Uh, we have a judge who's in the kitchen with the team and he's going to evaluate like the taste and the looks and the cleanliness and tidiness and, and the actual doing and giving feedback for the team and uh, these judges are watching only one team like their own own team so to say because if, it's, if the judge is in the kitchen in Ireland, he's going to give feedback only for our students in Ireland. And then we have a second group, so judges which will uh, evaluate like all the participants. And that's, that's like peer evaluation or peer judging, so all the teams are judging other teams. So how the story is implemented and, and so on, because they are in the system, so they know what, what the goal is. And so basically the evaluation is done, it's given the rank. So the, we have one to four, because there are five teams, so you don't vote for yourself, but you give a vote or you put them in order. Well, who do you think it was the best team? and who was the second best, and so on. And the following aspects, group work, organizational skills, visual appeal, creativity, and social media presence. So they will evaluate the whole package, not, not only the actual competition vision day. And we have further instructions also. I don't know, do we want to go through now the day? or more precisely, or do we go to open batches? Well, actually what I would like to add for this is that, uh, that every single um, student, they would understand that this all together, so uh, like uh, 
Well, Mia Hermani was saying that I okay. need to take the photos basically okay. all the time. We will come back to that on the, on the 15th of January. But remember that you are creating, uh, it starts from the 15th, but basically it starts from now. I recommend that every single uh, uh, group takes the photos of, of now from the group work when you start it. This day when you start it, you have one photo. So you have something to present already for your blog, what you are, what you are going to create. Uh, on a while, when you are creating those different items, you are creating the menus, you are thinking how to plan, uh, you think what kind of ingredients and why do you use those ingredients. Remember to record it. So take the photos, take the videos. At the end, uh, we will create the video of all of this together. So the other students, they are able to see what was the steps actually, what you make, what did you do. Uh, one part is going to be with that block, but we integrate for a lot of photos, a lot of videos for that block. In order the others understand and see what you have done, what you have created. And uh, the valuation, like they were saying, the first valuation, it's in the kitchens we are creating for that. We have an uh, example for our old students. That's at, at least our idea that they will be two old students who come here and uh, well, here it's for our students. But then the other hand, uh, in order the other groups value themselves, you need to create like proper material. And do not only think that you are focusing on now. Please remember that this is for your future. You create something for yourself, uh, something what you could show later on. That that's that's what the event what happened. That was the programs. That was the models we took apart. That was the competition where we were. But it's it's for you. It's for your future. It's not only for this competition. But it's something what we hope that you understand that you should be continuing doing afterwards as well. Any question about for the lessons? Any questions about for competitions? Secret, Maurice, any questions? Um, no questions, yes, uh, Una. Um, the students are just paying attention, I think, more than anything else. And um, if anything comes up, they'll feed back into TJ and we can address those questions then. Okay, but so far they do understand. Well, I, I know you have talked to them already, but they, they know what we are doing. They have a more clear idea what what will happen in the next couple of months. Yeah, I see nothing. Yeah, secret. Uh, one question: Looking at the timeline, yesterday, yeah. did we agree to start nine Ireland or not? Yes, uh, we did agree. It's yeah, it's wrong time. Yes, I can see. Yes, so it's ten uh, Estonia and Finland. No, sorry, eleven. Eleven Estonia, Finland. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, will you correct that? And uh, I already put it for the same. Uh, so it was 11. Thank you, Secret. It was. So they start 10, yeah, 9, 11. Okay, like that? Yes. J just on that, guys, um, our clocks, I don't know if everybody in the same boat, but our clocks will change again in March. But look, we can worry about that closer to the time. Okay, yeah. Fine, fine. And then remember, we talked about yesterday that when you do the uh, the planning of the model planning, you need to have that break because in Estonia and Finland, we both we need to have that break that the students are able to go for the lunches. 
either do that you have something to do that students they create something uh, or they have the work kind of separate work uh, what they need to do and they could have a break but it has to be in Finnish time at 12 o'clock so in Irish time I think it's 10 o'clock 10 10 30 we need to have that break okay this part okay okay shall we continue yeah so at this stage do you want to see more thorough uh, plan for the actual competition day or do we go forward to the open patches can i have one more question <laughs> regarding the blogs um i cannot remember right now uh, uh i know it will be the subject of the first lesson but uh can we use the blog uh, uh format or the the environment that we use anyway in international projects with students or where we're supposed to be in all in one environment uh, the idea was that a, um, there is actually, I think I put it already in Facebook, or it's going to be for tomorrow, that I wish all the students, they create Gmail account and they do personal blogs so that in order the blogs belong to them, not to any of the schools. So we do the personal blogs and after they graduate from school, they could decide whatever they do with that. Okay. Okay. So they need to create Gmail accounts in order to create their blogs. Any other questions? None? Open patches. There's open batches. So you continue, or not? So um, we actually have promised uh, one moment. Toi ani tulee toi kuluksi koko ajan tämän. Ota merkki kiinni. Funny noises. Okay, um, open Batsy. So when uh, we uh, was applying for this project, we already promised that we create uh, new open Batsy's, and we also promised that we use all the ones. So uh, we have a project called Healthy Future, and uh, with that Healthy Future project, we actually created. 38 sustainable development open passes and in this project we're going to use six of them meaning that a uh, all the different areas not the first one but all the other four there is a couple passes which belong under those and the idea is that uh, all the students will create or make those open passes either while they are studying of this specific subject area or at least at the end so when after the competition is done we make sure that all the batches uh you all all of you guys have done those so they are six batches what you need to create but in in the first place if the open batches are not familiar for you they are uh well they are most mozilla founded open standard which means that uh, they are created online, they are kind of questions, what do you have in online, you reply for them online and in virtually some, they will send it to someone for check that it's okay. Meaning that you need for that uh, block uh, to create the material, you need a, uh, some of the photos to create the material. So you actually give the answers in Google Drive or you put it directly for that your personal blog and then you link that to that open batches, the form where the question is. 
They are simple questions for specific area. The normally the questions are not like really huge, but they are only focusing specific uh, questions, specific area like uh, menu planning. It's how do you do menu planning, and there is a questions that what you need to consider and what you need to consider locally for when you create uh, your menu. So basically, they are digital ways to show you your experience. They are um, you are able to link when you get it uh, correct and you get it passed for that open patches. You are able to put it for LinkedIn. You are able to put it for the Facebook and all the digital environments, whatever you are using. And in Finland, we know already, in fact, that some of the students who has used those and some of the workplaces, uh, they recognize the, those, uh, they are really happy with them. So uh, we try to use them more widely in Finland. The language what we're going to use, uh, it's either it's optional if Estonians would like to read it in Finnish because they are created in a couple languages, but main language, of course, is in English. So uh, we could discuss that, that do we allowed Estonian and Finnish people use uh, Finnish language or shall we create it for them as well in English? But we could discuss that a little bit later. Hermani. Basically, this is a little bit similar way for the same what I already was explaining. That uh, I think the main thing for the open batches are because they are digital, you are able to show your um, whatever you know or whatever you have learned. It's easy way to show uh, such the batch because when you show the batch, there is always virtual link for actual document. So uh, your teachers, uh, wherever you are heading to work to, they are able to check what actually you answers as well. Uh, they were. Is that sort of uh, recognizable for you? Have you used it open batches before? Just here in Ireland, um, Una, it wouldn't be common to use open badges. However, you know, the students are familiar with the concept, so, you know, it's not going to be an issue. Okay. And there's only six of them? Just six, yeah. Yeah. Secret? Open batches are okay for you guys, and you, you are familiar with them? Uh, we do not use them a lot in Estonia so far, so it will be um, a challenge, but... <laughs> Uh, but I'm, I'm sure we can uh, we can make it work since you have uh, uh, the the baseline for it. Yes. So idea is that we first we use those uh, in a pop up. We're going to use the ones what we are going to create, and now the first one we are using the ones what we already have. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's very good that we start with something you already have. Yes. And try that out. Uh, because we, we really haven't used them in the school. I know our um, uh, IT sector is using them, but that's all. Okay, all right. At the moment, Herman, uh, laita vielä seuraava. When you're applying for the open budget, at the moment they are not in uh, our website, but uh, in January for, you, for sure I will have enough time that uh, I upload those six open batches in our Core website. So basically what means that there is the first, there is the link, that website where is the questionnaire. That questionnaire, uh, like I said, you will transfer for somewhere. I think uh, Irish version, Marie's or someone from there, I think it would be wise that if you would check them, we could do it in Finland as well, but um, I, I don't know which one is the best way, but the second, when you get proven that you will have, uh, you have accepted that open batches, the answers are correct. You need to open open batches factory in order to collect them. It's called open batches passport, what you need to have. 
and that open badget passport when you have that that's the sort of virtual link which is the most easiest way to send it in the different places like i say for the linkedin or blog or facebook instagram a lot of different places because it's the icon what you use and it's recognizable um, there could be two options that what we have already done that either students they reply like any of the question or exams they don't know exactly the correct answer so we sent the mail back for them and saying that please um, these parts are missing but if it's completely uh, not it's completely not correct then it's just send it back and saying unfortunately you can't pass it please make it again so it's quite simple it's kind of like exam one part of the just the question what you answer and then you get the reply and at the end you get the bats as well Hermann, me. and like i said there is six of them uh, the first one is local food the second one is raw muscle and production menu planning, ecological footprint, seasonal ingredients, and uh, the dairy guidelines. At the moment, I will sort of edit the link where you can, where you are able to find those open passes. But there is, uh, like I said, all of those 38 open passes will be in the, under the same link. But on January, only for those six are edited in our website. Any questions? No. No. Okay. The next <laughs> next one, uh, it's going to be for Facebook. Herman, are you actually able to open a uh, Facebook page? Yes, I am. Thank you. No, I am not. Uh, it's, it's enough that it's one person is able to open the Facebook, so I, I'm able to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, one of the students, do you have Facebook? Oh, it's a room. It's a all of your students are inside the Facebook. Secret, you only have one person. Uh, Herman, I think one is missing, or Herman, I think one is missing. Yes. I, no, I think every all the four is not in there. So at they least I have edit the person. Will you add the? Okay. Will you? I added one. I invited and added the last one. Did you edit for the group? So all be all here have joined um, the Facebook page. Yes. Yeah, but this uh, is yeah, it's this V U N. Okay. V U N. Okay. But yeah. Okay, so shall we start first in the top? Uh, I don't know how familiar you all of uh, you guys are with the Facebook. We use quite a lot for the sort of as a platform, as a sort of closed platform for the students that they are able to understand that um, the material is easy to link to somewhere and you sort of you are able to find the material easily. Basically, will you put it a little bit more further up? That's it. It's the uh, These ones. Yes. Basically, though they are the tags, so uh, what I would like you to do, not this one. Okay. I'm like, so this one is now it's video where you see the tag, but uh, there is the intro, there is the sustainable gastronomy, there is all all those. So in under the intro, there is all the materials what we have used today. Uh, mm -hmm. There is also the links that I'm asking you that remember that you need to um, introduce yourself. 
I have seen uh, Irish, not all of you guys have not done it, but most of you. I have seen that from Vania, it's okay. Secret, not. I know Finland, not, but they will do it after this. But it means that um, it's easy for you to find the feed when you know that, okay, this class is personal branding. So uh, the feed will be, uh, you will, you are able to see all the feed. But if you want only the things for this um, sort of something to do with personal branding, then remember to click that one. So we do tag them always. So they are tagged to that subject area. And uh, if you like to do it the same for yourself, there is sort of a, uh, well, Okay, and okay. And it and go back. Mida. Lisa se sinne ja sitten mene takaisin siihen tekstiin. Okay, in this case he forgot. So when you go top in the corner, this on Herman, me, etc. That one, click, and then uh, the same tag. One more down. That one, click, and then you see all the areas. So you can put them on top of those. Uh, is it the sustainable gastronomy? Is it the local food? Is it the traditional? Oh, sorry, professional cooking. So it helps us and you find the proper information. So please remember you remember to use that. And remember that when you need to sort of like for sustainable gastronomy, did say yesterday, uh, he, he had it that uh, one of the, I think it was for food paste or something. So it belongs basically under the sustainable gastronomy. So in later on, you might need that. So I put it already under the sustainable gastronomy. Does this sort of help you that you understand how this Facebook is working? Or have you used these kind of things before? You have? I haven't. Okay. So no, I have. Okay, secret. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but I have younger colleagues who will help me, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, this is mainly that we, the students also remember the, how do they find easily the, all the documents what we are looking for from them. And for Irish, Irish students, uh, is that okay with you? You know how to work with Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, awesome. So I would like you guys that um, they're going to be for tomorrow. I know that we don't have slides for that. Uh, they will be posted on a Facebook. Uh, they will be for tomorrow. So I would like to all of you guys that you will write that intro, that you will write for something personal for yourself, who you are, where do you study, how old you are, and a little bit for, about for yourself. For that intro, we're going to use it on the 15th. So it's quite important that you remember to do that. So it sort of helps us for the creating the blog if you have the information already done. So the second part, what I need you all to do, it's that you take professional photo. And professional photo, I mean by that you are wearing a, your chef bikes or you are professionally dressed, you will make sure that the photo is looking professionally good. And that's important. Please remember to take that photo advance before on the 15th of January. And I recommend that you will post it that on the Facebook as well. So all the others, they are able to see as well the, what kind of photos you have taken um, and what... How do they look like? What is an aura I mean that it's, it's professional. And the third one, what is really important, what you need to do before January, is that you create that Gmail account. 
because the Gmail account has to be ready before we start on the 15th. And uh, it's easier and faster that you have created all of those three things at once. And main and most important thing before on the 15th, secrets. Uh, did you already post it, the questionnaire? Uh, I made a schedule post this evening around 5 o'clock. I don't hear you at all. I don't have a clue what you say. Sorry? Uh, I made a schedule post. Not hearing? Now I have to hear you, yeah? Okay. So I made a schedule and the uh, questionnaire. Uh, did you did you other did, did you hear that? No. No. Okay, awesome. So it will be uh in January or for tomorrow? Okay, so third. Yeah, sorry, it's not working so well. The deadline you have to made it before that the questionnaire uh, again many of planning it's uh there is one week gap so the next again one week before you need to uh create uh well make that questionnaire so we know that what was your answers so you every single model before the model start you have a questionnaire and and then you have overall questionnaire at the end uh, after the cooking competition and that's really important that you do remember i mean every single person how to answer for that questionnaire and for ireland you have six persons you are lucky
Yeah. All the students are going to do. Yes? Yes. Great. I'm going to answer today about the work package too, uh, about the questionnaire after this one. Thank you, have you very much. Yes. Um, and um, uh, do you maybe know, uh, I wanted to specify uh, creating the team account. Uh, have I missed again something? Where is the directions uh, for the students how to create the team account? Is it uh, in the drive under the competition, for example? Or the, the blog? Yeah. I don't know. I think I think it's like we are, we are going to maybe do, for example, this uh, uh, WordPress blog. If, if you don't have any, if you don't have any specific that we have to use, you, I think you can use like. And you, you want? Is it like that or not? Thumbs up or down? So I think, yeah, we talked about about the blog. Yeah, I think we do WordPress. Mm. That's something that we do as a part of studies anyway. Mm. Okay. So I use that one in this. It's okay. quite simple and it's free. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll um, do that. I, I think we usually use uh, Blogger or Blogspot or something like that. No, no, a bit older. I think uh, I haven't heard about the blogger one. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's comments. We are using blogger. Yes. Uh -huh. so okay. That's, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's clear. Good. Great. Hello, Maurice. Hello, folks. Yeah, do you have something else to, you know, add or ask or something else? Um, no, I think we're okay here. We're going to um, get the students to call in anything they might have themselves. And if there is any other questions, um, an email will be sent or... Um, a query will be sent to clarify. Great. And now we have the Facebook Facebook platform to have the discussion if needed. Absolutely. Okay, so thanks a lot for everyone. And uh, unfortunately, we can't hear any more uh, Orna because there's so much noise going on. But if any everybody is pleased with the things and we are okay with it, maybe we can uh, close up the meeting.